up here today. I got some new little setup and stuff going on. I'll probably give y'all a room tour uh, in one of my future videos. But right now, at this moment, I got an unboxer for you guys. It is from Handheld Legends. Uh, this is like a subsidiary of um, Retro 6 in the UK. Um, I am in the US of A. Uh, so Handheld Legend is like to me the equivalent of retro six if that makes sense so they are actually located um in pa which will be uh philadelphia pennsylvania for me so in willow grove excuse me willow grove pa pennsylvania so let's uh get to what goodies we have in here today like i always tell you guys i don't always remember what i order so please don't judge me no judgments we will see what is in this goodie bag today guys i'm excited because i got my overhead newer pod uh in where i can do overhead recordings especially when i'm doing fix guys on consoles i'm sure you guys would love that so hopefully the view is better for you guys We'll see what we got. They did have like a little quick Memorial Day sale, so I took advantage of it. So the goodies that it looks like we have in here, we have a all white Game Boy Color shelf or reshell with the buttons in the inside. Here we have, I think this is gonna be a, it's not a backlight lit screen, but I think it's a front lit screen for Neo Geo. I do have a Neo Geo pocket. Yep, that's exactly what that's going to be. So hopefully I got all the pieces and then I can do a video on that for you guys. Look like I have no idea what those are. Some terminal stuff for this. Oh, let's see. I got a quick receipt in here. I need y'all see my address. Um, don't know what that is. Oh, there are um, replacement tip contacts for something that's in here, which you probably can already see. It's a, I think this is pint pen cell or pine cell tip. These are the tips, but this is the actual machine. It's basically a portable solder iron a small soldering iron only use it when um maybe traveling but these are the uh the contact points for it in the inside and so i'll y'all get to see me use this in the video as well from time to time Let's see what else we got now like i said i got different points in here i decided to go with the fine tip because i don't have many fine tip points for my regular uh, soldering iron. This one here, what I like about it, about the pencil or pine saw, whatever you want to call it, is that it has the, like the um, Heiko brand where you can replace them in and out, um, exchange them in and out, which makes it easier while soldering, um, just to be able to exchange tips in and out. And as you guys can tell, those are some quite, quite fine tips there. So, I'm sure that's going to be fun to use. We'll place that back in the box. What else we got? Um, in this packaging here, these are some power switches. I usually use these for uh, replacing power switches on PSPs, some Game Boy Color stuff. You do find, though, with these power switches right here, the notches are pretty small so you got to kind of make shift some things sometimes with it but yeah i keep them you know i keep them in my little part stuff got a cup looks like some yeah the back for the game boy color sticker the sticker for the back excuse me and it looks like they sent some extra handheld legend stickers shout out to handheld legends we got some pretty good, pretty cool stickers and stuff in here. And looks 
like I have a stand. This stand, as you can tell, that it with the engraving on it is for the Neo Geo Pocket. Like I said, I have a Neo Geo Pocket. It's just leaning up against some stuff right now, so I'm probably going to put the stand on there and probably include a photograph for you guys when I put the stand up. They make some pretty good stands. This look like another pretty big stand. And some tape they left me. Uh, this stand here is for my Game Gear. Still got to do like a screen replacement and backlight on my Game Gear. Guys, if you ever work on a Game Gear, Sega Game Gear, you know, the screens are just, you, you, you have no luck, almost zero luck getting a decent screen that works. But, yeah. So I got this stand here for my Game Gear. And this is all I got, guys. I don't think I paid over um a hundred bucks for everything um like i said i caught quite a couple deals and stuff which i thought was pretty cool um especially with this right here so we're going to take that out the box real quick just so y'all can kind of see it is i think usb powered but they do offer these for about um, 43 bucks on their website. So definitely go and see them. I will attach it in the link. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting this out. There we go. They also have where you can replace the casing to a clear case, which I think it looks pretty cool, but I didn't bother wasting my money on the clear case simply because this will be my first time testing this out and I didn't want to get a clear case if I ended up not really liking it. So yeah, it clearly comes with one of the regular, I guess, general points that you would use or tips, soldering tips. And you just place that on in there and you give it some juice. Looks like it has a USB-C point. I'm assuming that's how it's powered. It has its own firmware. Uh, and it has a DC input. Um, 12 to 24 volt, 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter barrel jack. I think I probably have a DSC, DC input that I'll probably use for it instead of using a USB-C. I don't know how much power that's going to draw to heat it up well enough. Um, but I think it does, I'm quite sure it does have to um, be connected and hooked up. And it looks like, yeah, no, you don't have to turn that Phillips head to make it tighten in and guys if you hear some vibrating um i messed up my lower back a little bit so i got my chair massager on i believe in being comfortable guys but yeah i like the grip on this thing definitely have to tell you guys uh how i enjoy the use of it or rather not i enjoy the use of it so yeah we may just use it here in a second i'm um, getting ready to put up another video for you guys It'll be a part two to the um, GameCube controller, and we'll do another unpackaging then. So, see you on the next one.